Look at the colors on it. Uh, no skunk. <laughs> Made the trip worth it. So I've never used any of these flies, but um, I saw a guy on Facebook selling um, three big bundles or big boxes of flies like this for um, for 10 bucks for all three. And any, any of you that know anything about flies, I mean, they usually run, I don't know, a dollar to three dollars each. So just this box alone would have cost me easily, you know, a couple hundred bucks. So I got a steal on those, which was awesome. Um, about ready to go here. I'm gonna have to walk to the other side of the lake, so um, I'm bringing my backpack and some snacks and all kinds of stuff just because it's gonna be a bit of a trek. So we'll see how it goes. Ah. Let's do this. Well, there goes my trip. Um, apparently something in the back of my truck hit my pole and like my second or third cast, it snapped in half. Although, oh wait, look, tell me this is gonna work. Maybe, look, it just came apart. Hopefully this little piece, I'm able to still get this in here. That would be so awesome because I'm all discouraged now. I don't think so though, it looks too wide. Anyways, so there's my trip, <laughs> five minutes. Um, I did bring another pole, but it's all the way back at the truck, which is way over there. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll make the walk back with the lure, but so much for the fly fishing this trip. Uh, seems to be my luck these years. Anyhow, 
maybe I'll check back in with uh, another pole and a lure instead. All right, well, it's been one of those damn trips. So I don't know, I get to the pay station and go to pay and all I have is large bills on me. So I was just gonna skip it because literally last time I was here, I paid uh, double 10 bucks because uh, I didn't have change that time either. So now this time I'm paying quadruple because I have a guilty conscience and I don't want to not pay. So I'm gonna pay my stupid $20. But on top of that, I don't have a freaking pin to fill this damn thing out. Like I searched my truck over and can't find a pin anywhere. So first ice, the lake's mostly frozen over. Then my pole breaks. Then I don't have change. <laughs> but screw it. I'm it's a four hour round trip drive here and back home. So luckily I have my other pole which is broken also, but it's just broken on the very bottom. Um, I just bought that pole. I spent a hundred bucks on a, you know, a lightweight rod. And uh, my grandbaby was throwing rocks at the lake and of course perfectly hit my pole and snapped off that pole too. So now I'm gonna be fishing with half a pole, which is all I have left with me. But uh, God, I hope it pays off with a fish or two and make this trip worth it. But that just seems how, uh, how sometimes trips go. I'm sure any of you that travel a lot or you know, go to the lake a lot. There's always shit that goes wrong and it just never fails. And so today I'm not gonna let it get me down. I'm gonna pay my four times my amount. I'm gonna go park again. I'm gonna walk all the way back around to the other side of the lake um, where the open water is and we're gonna try it again. So stay tuned. Hopefully I got a fish to show you for all this nonsense. All right, so I decided to take a little break, calm down. Um, sometimes I forget that Going fishing isn't all about just fishing, you know what I mean? It's about being out in, in the, the mountains or being at the lake and peace and quiet. Um, actually, I've been listening to an audio book while I fish, um, you know, about, uh, well, I won't get into it, but uh, a self-help type book. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just about really taking in what you're doing at the moment and being in the moment. Um, I have a hard time doing that sometimes in life and sometimes that's what life is really about is just being present and um, enjoying where you're at at the time that you're there. So even if I don't catch a fish today, I'm gonna enjoy the, the lake, enjoy the fishing, enjoy my audio book and uh, continue on and uh, hopefully go home a lot more peaceful. To be dead honest, this is the first fishing trip I probably haven't brought alcohol with me in God knows how long um, thought about bringing some you know some something about being at the lake and drinking tend to go hand in hand in my life and again I'm trying to make some changes um, not really trying to stop drinking just trying to you know control when and, and how often and how much and so uh, you know kind of a positive moment for me also is being out here without alcohol and just kind of being sober and taking it all in so anyhow just thought i'd share that little bit of personal bits with you and uh continue enjoying my time worth it. Look at this beautiful fish. I just threw it back out there too. Um, had been getting a couple of bites off the bait and then finally got this beauty. Look at the colors on it. Oh, no skunk. <laughs> Made the trip worth it. But uh, I'm gonna let this little guy go because I don't know. I don't feel like keeping them today. See ya. Uh. 
All right, well, my GoPro died for some reason, but got another one. Uh, probably 10 inch or a little stalker again. So, I don't know, it turns out to be a decent trip. I'm probably gonna wrap it up here though, maybe catch one more if I can. Uh, my toes are frozen from being in the water. But uh, anyhow, ah, I don't know, like I said, sometimes you just gotta turn your attitude around and things change around, so keep on going. So this is the dam of the lake. As you can see, it's on the far end. And that little thing right there in the water next to that green box is the, I don't know what you want to call it, drain or something like that. And uh, lets out all the excess water from the lake. And then goes down there into the stream and continues on. So just thought I'd share that with you. Cool little spot. Right, guys well this wraps up another video uh, I had to give it up man my toes are absolutely numb uh, those waders keep you dry but they don't keep you warm so that water you know obviously it's frozen in most spots so it's got to be low 30s um, but anyhow it turned out to be a decent day even with all my bitching um, if you made it this far I appreciate you making it to the end of the video don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one. It might be my last open water uh, fishing trip of the year. Um, it's getting cold, so it's about ice fishing season. Um, so probably the next time you see me, I'll be on the ice instead. So we'll see you then.